It's about 2.30. I'm here with Mark Quartz, unofficially in ninth or 10th place. So the race is picking up here for this top six. That's another key race in this event. There's definitely a 10 grand for first, which is huge, but the top six anglers qualify for our tour next year. So there's another whole race here to pay attention to. Mark's right on that line. He is about three pounds behind as best we can, uh, as best we can figure out. That's a one fish bite out here. Mark, what do you think? Yeah, it's been a frustrating second half for me. You know, I had a lot of confidence coming out after that first half, um, especially the area I was able to, I was gonna be able to fish on this east shore. And it's just been frustrating. I've run around, run around. I finally found some fish. Um, there's a little bit of grass in the water that's kind of messing with the trolling aspect of it. I might stop trolling here shortly and try jigging up some fish. There's just, a, there's an area in here where there's a bunch of fish and I just keep rotating around. The last pass we got one, about one and a half pounds. Um, so yeah, it's a numbers game, you know, and it's uh, one of those deals where you just gotta stay focused. Like you said, three pounds is one bite away. I mean, six pounds is one bite away, really. So, um, you know, these fish seem to be located um, next to structure, and, and that's what we're doing. We're going around structure here right now. We're watching our Lake Master Chip, paying attention to the hummingbirds, and when I mark fish, I'm actually putting waypoints down so I can go back over them. Maybe they want it at a different angle. There's a little bit of current, obviously, today I'm noticing that my uh, trolling motor, definitely I have to speed up going one direction versus another. So um, even in a lake situation, you have that current aspect. Yeah. So as you talk about that, you're trolling lead core, right? I am. So we're talking about having to speed up or troll or slow down, that basically will raise or lower that bait to the bottom? Correct, and, and what I want that bait to do is not actually grind the bottom. Uh, we've got a lot of zebra mussels here. So I'm trying to get that bait just to tick every now and then. And, and that seems to be what the fish want. I'm not locating a lot of fish that are up in the water column like we had in practice. Um, and there was a couple days there in practice where it was pretty easy to put out the lead core and catch them. And today, obviously, with the conditions, we had that big thunderstorm last night. We had a, a lot of lightning and thunder. Um, I think it's definitely got the fish off today. Well, stay tuned. We'll see if Mark can make a race for that top six. If anyone in this field's got a shot to swing and hit it, it's this guy.